Understanding the Waxing Gibbous Moon, a guide. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to explore an intriguing aspect of our night sky, the waxing gibbous moon. This phase of the moon is not only beautiful to observe but also rich in meaning. By understanding it, you'll add a fascinating element to your English vocabulary and knowledge of natural phenomena. Let's dive into the world of the moon together. The term, waxing gibbous, is used to describe a specific phase of the moon. To fully appreciate this term, let's break it down into two parts, waxing and gibbous. Waxing. This word comes from an old English term meaning, to grow, or, increase. In the context of the moon, waxing, refers to the moon's phase when it appears to be growing larger in the sky, leading up to the full moon. Gibbous. This term has Latin roots, meaning, humpbacked. It describes the moon's shape when it is more than half illuminated but not yet full. So, a waxing gibbous moon is the phase where the moon is more than half lit up and is gradually getting fuller each night until it becomes a full moon. The moon goes through a cycle of phases each month, lasting approximately 29.5 days. This cycle includes several key phases. 1. New Moon. When the moon is between the Earth and the Sun, and the side facing us is not illuminated. 2. Waxing Crescent. A sliver of the moon becomes visible as it starts to grow. 3. First Quarter. Half of the moon is illuminated. 4. Waxing Gibbous. The topic of our discussion, where most of the moon is illuminated and growing. 5. Full moon. The entire face of the moon is illuminated. 6. Waning gibbous. The moon starts to decrease in illumination after the full moon. 7. Last quarter. Again, half of the moon is illuminated, but it's now decreasing in size. 8. Waning crescent. Only a small sliver of the moon is visible before it returns to the new moon phase. Understanding these phases helps in grasping the concept of the waxing gibbous moon as an important part of this cycle. Observing the waxing gibbous moon can be a delightful experience. Here are some tips for those interested in watching this lunar phase. Timing. This phase occurs approximately a week after the new moon, leading up to the full moon. Position. Look towards the eastern part of the sky during the evening. As the night progresses, the moon will climb higher and move westward. Appearance. The moon will be mostly illuminated, with only a small part in shadow. Each night, the illuminated part will grow until the full moon is reached. We hope this video has illuminated the fascinating concept of the waxing gibbous moon for you. This lunar phase not only enriches our night sky but also our understanding of the natural world and the English language. Keep looking up, and you'll find that the moon cycle tells a story of renewal and change that's worth following. Thank you for joining us, and don't forget to keep exploring the wonders of the universe and language. Happy moon gazing, everyone!